and go along this crease, opening up the model a bit and trying to see these four different flaps. Now take two flaps that are opposite, that are on one line, and pull a bit and push on the center. Pull a bit on the other two sides and push a bit on the center. And then you should be able to open this all the way until you see a square along existing creases. You do not need to make any new creases here. And it will be a square that touches the diamond in four points. Now you will have diagonal folds right here and you have horizontal folds right here. The horizontal folds are going to be mountain and the diagonal ones are going to be valley. So bring this edge to that edge to incorporate a valley fold. Same thing on the other side. And then the horizontal folds will almost automatically be mountain folds. Then just pinch the two top points together and flatten. And then you have an open sink. Do the same thing on the other two corners. Bring up one layer each, pull the corners, push on the point a bit, until you get a nice square that touches in four points on the original diamond and then collapse again and on the other side too. like so. Now you can see there are small triangles below each of these sinks and in the inside there's paper hidden there and this paper we pull out and then bring the corners in again and you can see that this paper and this paper wasn't there before and is so now. And make creases there. So again, open the paper up a bit and here take one layer of paper and Pull out the additional paper and make creases. One final time. Bring out paper. Like so. Now turn the model over again to work on the next set of leaves. For this along an existing crease inside reverse fold. Make a mountain fold here. Go along the valley fold right there. And then flatten the model making a new crease on one layer of paper right down here. You will see that there is a small white triangle remaining and that is correct. Do the same thing on the other side. Inside reverse fold, along a mountain fold, a valley fold, and flatten to make a new crease on the bottom layer of pair, paper. Now take this edge 
and fold it to that diagonal crease. And unfold and make another inside reverse fold. Like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we want to form another leaf right here and for that we again turn the paper around and turn it so that the central tip points to the left. Now take one layer right here, opening the sink fold like so. We will now want to align this existing crease with that crease. For that, first open the paper up a bit here, like so, just opening it up and making a mountain fold along two existing creases, so you have a triangle. This edge now you bring to the central crease. like so. Make a crease in the top and the bottom. Now bring this raw edge to that edge. Folding as far as you can and some of the area you will not be able to crease because of paper tension. Now we want to flatten this so this tip fold backwards and then squash fold in the corner right here and flatten. Then this area with this edge you want to fold upwards and you can flatten that area like so. And you might want to do a small squash fold here depending on how accurately you align the paper. This might not be necessary. So now let's have a look at the front. You can see that this shape is now finished and you can see a leaf emerging here. So now fold back like so and then do the same thing on the other side. First unfold the open sink then make a mountain fold out of this existing crease by opening the paper a bit and creating a triangle shape then bringing the edge to the central crease like so bringing this raw edge to the edge in the center, make a crease and then flattening the paper with some squash folds like so, bringing up the paper like so and folding back 